you said you were gonna play Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I say a lot of things. Anyways, uh, today is the 14th, which means it's going to be uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Day in a few hours. So I thought, while I still had time, I'd get in some uh, one last bit of lane play theater. Do play control settings. Moving. Ah. Ah. Leave it alone. Oh, on second thought. So you can at least see the story, because I'm pretty sure if I can start game. Oh, hey, who does that look like? <laughs> Where have I seen him before? Anyways, I s as soon as I push start game, I'm pretty sure it's going to actually start game. And I want that to happen before you guys see these. Can't read it, it says, where is he, that light? It's too late. Oh, what could it possibly be mean? I guess it's as good as mine. The story is... I have no idea. All I know is that the world is turning at a horrible axis. I'm surprised they're not being thrown off their feet. Look at those clouds, moving at the speed of light! Yeah, I'm done. This is Gunstar Heroes. And I thought I would play this. Get this out of my system. I call it to break the spell. I've never seen this before, hold on. Awaken the creator of the new world. Right? Oh, oh, it's not telling us what to do, it's what they plan on doing. I've never seen this before, to be perfectly honest. Green Fen here, he's got a gem. Uh oh, that means our only hope is. Fish pumping! The Gunstar Heroes. We're just kidding. Okay, I think I'm done. Yes. Alright. Single player. New game. I'll play as red. No, I'll play as red. This will be normal. Start game. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Anyways. So yeah, I'm red. And basically what it is is red is player one. But you get the choice of who you want to be. Technically this would be Gunstar Blue. But red can move while he's shooting. Blue can only shoot, can't move, but he shoots in eight different directions, so he's kind of like base. But like Mega Man at base. I'm gonna be Mega Man, guns are red, naturally. He can choose your weapon. It's uh, pretty much a straight shot, seeking shot, lightning shot. I think this one is a following shot, this is a flamethrower. So I'm gonna do it this one. So it's pretty much stage one, two, three, four. I never, unless I'm going here, I never actually go in order, but I always like to start with pink. Our army is attacking the natives. Assist them! <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. One of the overlooked Genesis classics. Yeah, nobody may have uh, seen these before, but they don't know what they're missing out on because look at this. Look at all the explosions. Look at the throwing. There we go. That's the king. <laughs> that's the king mother of all weapons here. A big ass seek shot. Yeah, it's cheap, but what do you do? I'll try to alternate and try different weapons, but you'll be seeing me using this a lot more than often. Yeah, they throw you. Sometimes people do the Otokomichi the Gantu side move. Oh man, I'm getting my butt kick. I just noticed that. Anymore, because I got help. Papaya dance. Anyways, like I said, this is a uh, Overlook Genesis classic. I remember when I first played this. Uh, it was at my uh, cousin's place. He had it. And said, oh my god. He had it, and we just started to pop it in at a randomosity, and you know we just played the heck out of it. And this game is 
especially great with two players, but right now I'm- Oh! I got a new trophy. That means all my trophies are gone, no! But anyways. We played this and we kept making the obvious and bison joke from uh, that guy earlier. He's actually two things. Uh, the instruction manuals call him Colonel Red, but he's really known as Smash Dice Guru. Plano Smash. And he's got one of the best teams ever. Who knows, one day maybe I'll play Gunstar Superhero so you can see the kind of unofficial sequel, or official sequel, whatever. But... Anyways. It's kind of a sequel, but it plays exactly the same. And it has, uh, multiple stories, too. Oh, crap. <laughs> Funny thing, if you fall off the side, then you get kind of get launched back up into the air. Get out of here. Leave me alone, you peoples. Bravo man. Spinning drive. Oh, okay. god. Dragon punch. He's a street fighter. And Zangief combined with Ryu. And that in itself is funny. It was a hurricane kick. I gotta add me some sound effects when, the, <laughs> when I uh, get to editing this video. Oh, it's a sweet kick! Never seen that before. Oh, he's a jump kick. Jump, jump, flying punch. Something. But it's really powerful. Hmm. I've really got to, uh... resync my trophies. I had everything. I will kill you. So yeah, everything blows up, everything hurts you, kind of like that. Hmm. Oh yeah. Come on, Doc Fall. Activating the bees probably wasn't the smartest, uh, all. Uh, that could blow them up, see? <laughs> like I said, everything explodes in this game. Oh. Legendary Pinky Rotor. Pinky, check this out. <laughs> it's one of those type of, uh, gangs with the hot chick leader. And the uh, two guy, uh, two male uh, toadies there, kind of like the Rojo and uh, her gang, the Anor Man. I don't think you can be hit when you do this. Yeah, but you you can't hit them. Oh my God, I'm being cheap. Oops. Never used to take me this long. God, I'm not going to lose to the Pinky Rotor! I'm not going to lose! That would've been bad. That would've been humiliating. I never lose to this damn thing. This is Green. This is actually the guy from the opening movie, and he's actually the Gunstar's brother. But he was uh, taken by the Empire, so now you gotta fight him. It's one of those cases. It's actually a different story. Uh, in this, he's brainwashed by the Empire, but in Super Heroes, I think he infiltrates them on his own will or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Like I said, I'll probably play it one day, but that thing has like six stories, depending on who you play as or what difficulty. Also, Red's a girl. If you bought the U.S. version, and then 
in the Japanese version, uh, Red is uh, a girly looking man. It's one of those things. Look at this. One of the best things about this stage. Woo! Driving up on the ceiling. <laughs> Ramming people with their, uh, your cart there. So many explosions. What's that director's name? Michael Bay? He'd love this. I really need to pay, start paying attention. I'm normally not this bad. Not even for me. I love this. What? Wait. <laughs> I love fiddling around with gravity. I sure would like one of those dust to come so I can change my weapon if I can uh, show you guys a little more of what this game has to offer. Because I don't want to feel like Parasite even be stuck with the same thing. Oh, blowing them up when they're sleeping. I don't want to be stuck at the same weapon like I was in that game. Even though that was my choice. Alright, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hearts. Get back here. Ah, no! Ah, no help for me. But again, I really haven't uh, needed it, so... Come back here, ducks. In this level, we'll see uh, Smash again. Oh, it's just pretty much the same thing, except it doesn't uh, track them, so no use doing that. Yeah, using uh, the uh, the ball shot with combined with another one is just this, but it doesn't tra uh, it doesn't track the enemy, so no point. You got limited ammo, so you can just hold down the button and shoot. Actually, you know what? I think it, uh, I think in that case it's, uh, it goes, but it, uh, kind of spreads, uh, uh, spreads out. Uh, well, anyway, you saw him there. There's that bison smashed ice cream. Now <laughs> check out what he does. <laughs> Greatest projectiles ever. <laughs> Throws his own men at you. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> And I love that lab. No! Damn it, give me another one! Ah, Seven Force. Well, the thing about Seven Force is how many forces you face. It tails force. How many forces you face depends on the difficulty of, uh, you know, what the level is. I think it's, if it's easy, you only fight three. Normal, which is this on, you fight five. And hard, you fight seven. But I have time for all those, so uh, I'm gonna pause it, and we'll uh, get back to this in the next video.